welcome back youtube.com slash geekloud for another let's install today resident evil 2 uh we are installing resident evil 2 obviously on to an xbox series x um I absolutely love this game. This is obviously the recent re-release for the Xbox Series X of the fantastic 1998 game Resident Evil 2. Check out this while we're here. The free costume of that 1998 beautiful render. Uh, this is hilarious to me. I love it. But let's pull up the queue, shall we? for Resident Evil 2, and I can tell you, coming in, as I said, native for Xbox Series X version onto an Xbox Series X today, is a whopping 23.07 gigabytes. Uh, keeping in mind, of course, the original release came out on a CD, which had a maximum file size of, what, 650 meg? Pretty impressive uh, that today's install of the remake of Resident Evil 2 is available. Uh, and as I said, 23.07 gigabytes, of course, using the RE engine. Uh, we did the Let's Install recently for Devil May Cry 5, same engine, the RE engine. Um, but as that installs, the other thing I want to let you know is that we do the Gaming Enforcement Agency here each and every Thursday night, 8pm, right here on Geek Loud. Myself, Bully, Unky Dunky. Speaking of Unky Dunky, there he is. He's just popped up online. Uh, but he'll be joining me tonight on the couch for the Gaming Enforcement Agency, where we will each discuss the games we've been playing this week. Our hands-on in-depth impressions, I can tell you, it's definitely going to include the recently released um, uh, Dead Space. That's right, we've all three of us have gone hands on with the new Dead Space. That'll be the number one game we're talking about this evening. But what else have we been playing? You'll have to come along, tune in and check out at 8pm. If you can't join us for the live let's stream, however, of course, it's always available as a video on demand here on Geek Aloud. But also now a new feature. We have it as an audio podcast on uh, Spotify, iTunes, Google podcasts and Amazon Music and anywhere else you can get an RSS feed subscription. That's right, you can be listening to the Gaming Enforcement Agency audio-only version on your podcast service of choice. Uh, so please check that out, uh, like it and subscribe it. You know, do us a favour on the podcast front. The more of that you uh, review it and star it up, the more people will find it and the better the show will get as a result. So, thank you for your help there. Oh, the other thing I need to note about Resident Evil 2, we also have the Resident Evil 2 install for PlayStation way back on the channel for when it was first released. I want to say it was about two years ago at this point. But if you go back to the... Re if you're interested in the remake Resident Evil 2 uh, from a few years back on PlayStation, that's also available back a fair way in the archives of the Let's Install series. That's right, they span back over four years at this point. We're almost, I think, at our 500th install. I'll have to run the numbers and check, but that can't be too far away. But for now, let's install Resident Evil 2 right here, youtube.com slash geekaloud.
Oh, it's getting exciting now as we finish up the install for Resident Evil 2. Hopefully not too much evil. Man, there's been a lot of uh, demon slaying on the old uh, Geek Aloud recently, haven't, hasn't there? We've been, we've done, uh, what was it, the Callisto Protocol? We've done uh, Dead Space. We've done Resident Evil. We've done uh, uh, Devil May Cry. My goodness, it's almost like there's a theme emerging here. Totally unintentionally. We're just slaying evil here on Geek Aloud. Thanks for joining us. Speaking of joining us, come along tonight, 8 p.m. for... Turn the subtitles off for, uh, yeah, that'll all work. Come along 8 o'clock tonight for the Gaming Enforcement Agency. That's right. It's our weekly video gaming podcast here on Geek Aloud. Ooh, ray tracing on. Yes, please. High frame rate mode. Oh, we've got to disable. Wait, wait, wait. Go back one. High frame. This feature cannot be used with your current hardware configuration. Oh, I bet that's set at the Xbox level, but that's pretty crazy. Man, look on the floor there. Look at the shadow, the details, the reflections on the floor there as we flick ray tracing on and off. Ray tracing looks amazing. High frame rate. I must have it set wrong uh, on at the Xbox dashboard level somehow. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and connect. That's fine. Options. Let's pop open the options menu. See what kind of... Uh, Options we have, I always love a good uh, button map. I appreciate one of those. Auto reload on, sure. Uh, control of vibration on, 100%. You need that immersion, the shake in the old man hands. Grr, you're in trouble. Uh, camera inversion, no thank you. Uh, field of view, oh, check this out. Hey, Bully, as Bully will attest, you always want the maximum field of view. Personally, I love it. Bully absolutely hates it. He thinks you may as well be watching your TV through a fishbowl when I crank it up. But for me, more situational awareness. I'm all about it. Uh, camera speed, camera wobble. I'll leave it on. If you're susceptible to motion sickness, though, go ahead and turn that off. You'll feel better for it. Uh, film grain. You know what? I'm going to turn off a bit of the film grain. It's a bit more as, uh, atmospheric, some may argue. However, as I am easily distracted, which is why I have to turn off the subtitles, the film grain can actually distract me at times. So I'll turn it off for that reason as well. Uh, red dot, uh, dot site, red. I love red. I know Unky Dunky prefers a green one there. Uh, tutorials can stay on. HUD can stay on. Audio, standard fare there. Nothing I think I need to change. Language, English, English, subtitles off. Yes, please. Now, the high frame rate. We'll dash on out to the Xbox dashboard. We'll have a tweak of that in just a moment. Uh, we can leave that on. We can leave that on. And we don't want to watch the credits. All right. So, let's take a moment and try and fix the... Actually, I'll hit B just because I don't know if it's saved by default. But... Let's jump on out now to the Xbox dashboard. And before we pull up the particulars and wrap up this Let's Install, I'm going to see if we can't um, pop the hood and fix the TV display options. No, check that out. Resolution, 4K, uh, 120 hertz refresh rate. So that should, by rights, allow 50 hertz, allow 24 hertz. Oh, maybe we need to allow variable refresh rate. Though my monitor can't handle this, so that was an incredibly silly thing to display. Oh, we'll hit keep. I didn't think my monitor would let that happen, but it has. Maybe that's the ticket, variable refresh rate. As it's the only other option left to check, let's hope that was it, shall we? Now, uh, to be a thorough job, we will quit the application, then relaunch it on the off chance it cached my system preferences and just by going back in via quick launch, it may not re-poll uh, the operating system and ask for the display setting. So it mightn't have picked up the little tweak we made. So by quitting it and then relaunching it, we know that the system profile it generates to work off will include that most recent change. So now, hopefully, maybe, if we go into that options menu... Will it give us, uh, where was it? No, it's graphics, isn't it? If we turn ray tracing off, the only other thing could be that maybe we need to turn ray tracing off and go out. And then I'm going to try one more time. We'll go back to the Xbox dashboard and we will quit options button.
I don't know what they call it anymore. I always prefer to call it the uh, start button. But once the game's quit, we'll relaunch it. As I said, I want to make sure it's got a fresh profile view of the console so it isn't uh, keeping old preferences there and disabling it by default. But I can't imagine why, unless it's the HDR setting. Maybe with HDR enabled, it can't. We're going to experiment there. We're going to, we're going to get this. Give me a moment, please. <laughs> uh, we'll go into the options menu here. Start game. I always hit the start button when that comes up. I know it's totally unnecessary. Ah, no, not story mode. Options, please. Graphics. Ray tracing off. Still can't turn high frame rate on. What if we go into display and turn off, uh, not the HUD, HDR. Can we disable HDR, maybe? Can't see the disable there. So, haha, -ha, how about this? We'll go out. We will... Uh, hit the start button if you will or options we'll hit quit on there and then we'll jump on in to the tv options and we'll disable hdr if i can remember where that setting lives video modes maybe auto hdr we'll turn that off and we'll leave the rest oh hdr 10 there you go we'll turn off both hdr options which is high dynamic range. Sorry for just throwing acronyms at you. That's high dynamic range. It allows a greater spectrum. If you, uh, if you want to visualise it, imagine standard brightness is from 0 to 100. With HDR turned on, it's more like 0 to 1,000. You've just got a far greater spectrum of light and dark or grey areas in between. So it enables way deeper looking shadows. You can get a lot more definition in the shadows, which looks fantastic. Uh, however, if we leave that and all by default, once again, I've got studio lights in my eyes here, so don't go by that. But let's have a look at this now and see if it will allow us in the options and graphics to, we still can't turn on high frame rate. We can turn on ray tracing without HDR, but we cannot enable for the life of us. Unless it's the film grain noise, surely not. Surely it's nothing to do with that film grain. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say that I don't know how to enable that and it's quite the mystery. I'm going to jump back in and return on uh, video mode. Let's turn back on the HDR options because that's something I would totally leave off and leave myself uh, in all sorts of trouble. Yeah, I've only got a HDMI input on this monitor. Whoa! <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and disable that. We will let it do just whatever it likes. <laughs> Uh, oh, now it can't see 4K. But that's an interesting point. Now that it can't see 4K, what does it give us? No, you can't. I'm going to go ahead and say I do not have the hardware configuration to enable HDR on that. So let's drop it as a bad idea and wrap up this here Let's Install video. I can tell you if you're recording the recently, somewhat in the last couple of years, re-released Resident Evil 2 Remake Remaster, call it what you will, onto an Xbox Series X. It is over there, version 2.0.0.1, and that is a full and complete install size of 23.1 gigabytes. I don't know how to turn on the uh, other options there in graphics. If you happen to work it out, please bang me a comment in this here YouTube video. Once again, I invite you to come along to the Gaming Enforcement Agency tonight for our weekly video game podcast. And if you can't check it out tonight on YouTube, by all means, check it out on your podcast service of your choice. It's there if you search Gaming Enforcement Agency. What else can you do with Geek Aloud? Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it. Yeah. <laughs>